प्रणाम टू ऑल हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर ऑल फाइन You must have surely figured out about what video we are making today by the title and the thumbnail. So, let us get into the topic of the video. In today's video, I will tell you how you can grow your aloe vera plant very healthily and how you can repot in the best time. As you can see there is a lot of aloe vera plants in our garden and we make the use of the leaf and the flower in making body oil hair mask hair oil and herbal tea As you all know spring is the best time to repot any plant so my mom is repotting the plant right now There might be a question to when repot your plant. You have to repot your plant if your aloe vera plant has grown leggy, has gone too large, or simply has grown a lot of baby plants in one pot. You should always know that in one aloe vera pot, one plant can only be healthy not more than one plant can be healthy in one pot at first my mom is removing all the baby plants from the mother plant aloe vera plant don't need that much space so you can grow your aloe vera plant in a small pot my mom suggests that you can grow your aloe vera plant in an 8 to 10 inches of pot you can also grow your baby plants in a 6 inches pot Okay, while my mom is separating all the baby plants from the mother plant, let me tell you some tips to prepare your plant. First, if your plant has any pups, remove them now. The second tip is if your plant has a very long spindly stem that won't fit the pot, it is possible to trim the root off partially. Note that this is risky and could kill the plant. Aloe vera plants are succulents, so use a well-draining potting mix, such as those made for cactus and other succulents. A layer of gravel, clay balls or any other drainage materials in the bottom of the pot is not necessary. This only takes up space that the roots could otherwise be using. A drainage hole is drainage enough. Now let us plant our plant. Fill the pot about a third of a way with a well draining potting mix. Then place your plant in the soil. Continue filling the soil around the plant Bearing in mind that you should leave at least 3 by 4 of an inch of space between the top of the soil to the rim of the pot. The bottom leaves of the aloe vera plant should rest just above the soil too. Do not water the plant after planting it. After you have placed your aloe vera in its new pot, don't water it for at least a week. This will decrease the chance of inducing rot and give the plant time to put out new roots. Until the plant seems to be rooted and happy, keep it in a warm place that receives bright but indirect light. After about a week, the first thing my mom did is to water the plant. 
Now at last I'll say some basic rules for aloe vera plant. It's lighting place in a bright but indirect sunlight. Fertilizing. Fertilize sparingly, no more once in a month. Watering is the most difficult part of keeping aloe vera healthy, but it's certainly not rocket science. Water aloe vera plants deeply but weakly. Okay, now this is the end of the topic. If you have been watching our video, then you must know all the benefits of aloe vera plant. But if you are unaware, then you can go and watch. If you like our videos, then subscribe to our channel and watch all the other videos. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.